Picture this. Firefighters arrive at a Florida apartment in 1951 to find 67-year-old Mary Reeser reduced to ash and bone fragments in her chair, yet the rest of her apartment remains largely untouched. Her left foot, still wearing a slipper, sits eerily intact nearby. This isn't science fiction. It's one of the most documented cases of alleged spontaneous human combustion, where human bodies seemingly ignite without any external flame source, leaving investigators baffled for decades. The Reeser case sparked global fascination, but she wasn't alone. In 1982, Jean-Lucille Safin burst into flames while sitting in her kitchen, witnessed by her father and son-in-law. Unlike typical fire victims, SHC cases share peculiar characteristics. Extreme heat that reduces bones to ash, minimal damage to surroundings, and often untouched extremities. Over 200, 200 cases have been documented worldwide, each more puzzling than the last, challenging our understanding of combustion physics. Science offers the wick effect as the leading explanation. Human fat acts like candle wax, sustaining prolonged, low-temperature burning once ignited by external sources like cigarettes. This theory explains the intense localized heat and minimal environmental damage. However, critics argue it cannot account for cases lacking ignition sources or the extreme temperatures needed to incinerate bones completely. The debate continues as forensic scientists struggle to replicate laboratory conditions matching real-world SHC scenarios effectively. Modern forensic science has debunked many alleged SHC cases, revealing overlooked ignition sources, accelerants, or natural explanations. Advanced fire investigation techniques now identify previously missed evidence like electrical faults, hidden cigarettes, or combustible materials. Yet several cases remain genuinely unexplained, frustrating investigators who cannot find conventional fire sources. These persistent mysteries keep the SHC debate alive in both scientific journals and public imagination, highlighting gaps in our combustion knowledge. Whether spontaneous human combustion represents a genuine phenomenon or investigative oversight remains hotly contested. While most cases succumb to scientific scrutiny revealing mundane explanations, the few that resist conventional analysis continue fueling speculation. The truth likely lies somewhere between supernatural claims and complete dismissal, highlighting how rare circumstances, overlooked factors, and incomplete investigations can create seemingly impossible scenarios. Until science can definitively explain every documented case, this combustible mystery endures.